Okay, so Sharifa placed a clear flask of cold water on the glass speaker of hot water. So she left the setup aside for 10 minutes. Now, there are lots of temperature going on here. So first of all, what is hot water? Hot water is something, uh, usually anything that's more than 30 degrees Celsius, we humans would normally call it hot water. Something that's above room temperature. And then we have uh, cold water which is anything that is lesser than the room temperature which is lesser than 25 degrees celsius usually and then we have the surrounding air uh, water vapor in the surrounding air which is about 25 to 30 degrees celsius now uh so we have water vapor in the surrounding air we have water vapor inside the beaker we have water vapor in the surrounding air we have water vapor inside in this space here coming from the evaporation of the hot water Okay, and we have cold water inside. So remember that condensation can only occur when water vapor loses heat. Evaporation can only occur when hot water and when, when uh, water gains heat. So here, let's look at A. Water, water droplets can be seen on the bottom of the glass beaker. So at the bottom of the glass beaker, and this here is the glass beaker. The glass beaker especially this area here, the area which is surrounding the uh, water, this area here is usually uh, the same temperature as the as the hot water inside, which is more than 30 degrees. Now this water vapor here is about 25 to 30 degrees. When it touches this thing here, is, there would be a heat gain instead of heat loss. Now when water vapor gains heat, it does not condense. So A is not true. Water vapor can be seen at the bottom of the glass beaker. There's no reason for water droplets to be there because there's no condensation because the cooler water vapor in the air cannot lose heat. Instead, it gains heat, right? So there is no... So A is not true. Now, water vapor can be seen on the outer side of the flask. So you can see that on the outer side of the flask, this is the flask, you can see that there's water vapor here outside of the glass. Okay, now let's see whether that's true. Now here we have water vapor at about 25 to 30 degrees. When it touches the cold water, which is lesser than 25 degrees, there will be a heat loss. So when there's heat loss, what will happen? Condensation will happen. So B seems to be, B is correct. Okay, let's look at C. Water droplets can be seen on the inner brim of the glass beaker. And the inner brim of the glass beaker is here. This is the inner side of the glass beaker. Remember that there is actually hot water vapor here. Hot water vapor. Why is it hot? Because it came from the hot water. So when the hot water evaporates and it touches the, the, the inside of the brim, right? The brim of the, in the inner brim of the glass beaker. Now this this uh, area here is usually the same temperature as the air outside, which is about 25 to 30. So from 30 degrees to 25 to 30 degrees, there will be a heat loss. So when there's a heat loss from higher temperature to lower temperature, there will be a heat loss. And therefore, there will be water droplets all around here because there is a heat loss of water vapor. Right, so C seems to be correct as well. Now let's look at D. Water vapor can be seen at the bottom of the flask. At the bottom of the flask here, again we have water vapor at about 30 degrees Celsius touching the colder water which is less than 25 degrees. So from a higher temperature to a lower temperature, the water vapor will have the water vapor of 30 degrees will be touching a surface of 25 degrees the water vapor will lose heat when the water vapor loses heat there will be condensation all right so when there's condensation here that means d seems to be correct as well now i've uh, said all this in quite uh, a fast space uh, because uh, I'm trying to limit the video to five minutes or else it'll be very difficult to upload. Now, if you didn't understand all that I've said just now, you could just rewind the video so that you can understand and hear again whatever I've said. Thank you.